Of course, we are hanging out at Starver Marvin's all show long as it is my last show here. And I got to tell you, I'm a little impressed that this is the last time I'll say, ladies and gentlemen, Jim King of the Road. King of the Road. <laughs> I love that. The only thing starving here is the chicken. Oh, that's a quail. I'm sorry. Okay, it's quail. <laughs> and, and, uh, and Marvin had told me about, about the beans and the rice. You're dead on. These are Marvin's recipes. I've known Marvin for years. Before he had this restaurant, he would uh, use us as human guinea pigs in his backyard <laughs> and his house in Lumberton. And I'm telling you what, I knew he was onto something back then, and he still is. It, uh, hands down, it's the best place for atmosphere, the whole package, uh, entertainment, the food. You can't beat it. We were saying just before we came on the air that this is the best overall patio experience, food, music, personnel, personality uh, at your show. Well, we, we try here. We're just country boys trying, but, but you know, how many people that like to eat their supper outside totally surprised me here. That's what brought this whole concept on, was I used to go home and eat my supper outside, and I thought, wonder how many other people in Southeast Texas like to eat outside, and it is overwhelming how many people do. It's really overwhelming. Jim, Jim and I's hands were, were up on that. Okay, so, of course, uh, Jim King of the Road airs every Sunday at 930 right here on Fox 4. And what can we expect th this week from you? Well, besides me rocking my new Maui shades that I bought up in uh, Minneapolis, uh, like we're going to dip that. in. We're going to have another <laughs> magnificent entertainment extravaganza tomorrow night at 930. Uh, following local news, we're going to dip into the Royal Archives and uh, re-air some uh, great footage of uh, Br uh, Bart Crow band that we got up in uh, Jasper recently. Bart Crow recently released an uh, uh, album called Dandelions. He's very well known on the Texas country charts. Two number one hits on that album. We'll uh, dust that off and re-air it. We're also gonna pull a legend out of the archives, the Royal Archives uh, tomorrow night. We'll have uh, Johnny Lee on. We recently saw him at a local venue, the Whiskey River Place here in town. So we just got, a, like I said, an entertainment extravaganza tomorrow night. Also. Sponsored by Starvin Marvin. Let me tell you we, something. We've got a, a music video. It's Every time you say, I always say, sponsored by Starvin Marvin's. Right. We always talk about Marvin. We talk Marvin up every time, especially during crawfish season. But we've got this uh, great new video. It's called um, uh, Back in the Day. It's Jesta James. He's a rising country star. We'll air that tomorrow night. Again, sponsored by Starvin Marvin's, a.k.a. Marvin Atwood here. <laughs> I love it. And, of course, uh, no, no NASCAR to deal with. No, nothing that's gonna. No baseball. Then nothing's gonna push your show past the uh, normally scheduled time. I think there is a sporting event. I'm not quite sure, but I, I believe there is one that could push us up a few minutes. But we're normally right after the news. I mean, we're always at right after the news, so you can just expect that. And uh, we're really gonna miss you, man. Well, yeah, I'm gonna miss you guys too, actually. And uh, I will be coming back and forth from uh, Dallas to here on the weekends. So, Marvin, I'm just telling you. I'm going to probably sit somewhere over here in the shade, and I'm planning to have one of these. Okay, well, you're very welcome. Come on back. We'll be looking for you, Brian, and expecting you. <laughs> I love it. I, lo I love these guys here. I mean, is this not a great venue or what? Like, and I'm not, you know what? I'm not just saying that because we're here. This is a great venue. It is. It's a home run all the way around. Like I said, the atmosphere. Now, he worked on uh, the outdoor air conditioning. I don't know if he's perfected that yet. No, no, but he, uh, he's, he's an entrepreneur. He's got it. I've almost figured it out. I think I can figure it out a way to air condition Texas. Yeah. I think you have it. We just choose a shootout here because actually it's a little bit too loud for audio purposes. That well, That's why we're not inside. But it actually is pretty cool inside. Yeah, it's very cool inside. And uh, the place is just plain cool. But uh, like I said, <laughs> I like that. I like that. <laughs> don't forget us about us uh, little guys when you move up to the big city. Oh, come on. I, I don't like when people tell me that because I, I, I keep it real every time. I know exactly what my role is. Hey. We, Jeremy's going like this, and I love when Jeremy goes like this because I don't know why I just said. Hands when I'm doing it. Yeah, your two hands. Hey, we got more Southeast Texas Live. Jonathan Kiker's in the studio, by the way, telling me, telling him to rap. We've got more Southeast Texas Live coming up. Stay with us.